Hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today I have for you a flush wall armor equipper. This is very much like the trapdoor armor equipper except this time it's hidden behind a flush wall like this. So if we hold down forward and walk onto this pressure plate then we're going to walk into the machine and it's going to push us out again uh, but while it does that it's also going to equip us with armor. So the way that this works is we have a double extending piston over on this side, it's powered by these torches and these blocks here. So that's what controls the double extending piston. And when the player stands on a pressure plate, what they're actually going to do is power a dropper down below that's going to put the item into a hopper. And a comparator will then give out a signal to power the double extending piston. So when it goes around the side here, you can see it branches off up to the top and it powers these dispensers at the exact time that the blocks have been retracted all the way back. And the same thing will happen on the other side as well because these dispensers here are powered by the same mechanism that controls the pistons. And so that happens so quickly that the pressure plate doesn't have time to depower and when the player gets pushed back out and standing on the pressure plate again it means that this block is still powered so the hopper hasn't put the item back into the dropper. And then when you walk away the machine will be reset and ready to use again. So before we start the tutorial I want to show you the double extending piston with a little more detail and also correct an error I made in my explanation there. So I said that the item would be moved into the hopper here and it would stay there until this pressure plate becomes unpowered. That is not actually true. What happens is it immediately goes back into the dropper but then this doesn't do anything because it's still being powered. So it's not until the player walks off the pressure plate that then that is ready to move an item back into the hopper. So what it does is it creates a short pulse when we stand on it which you can see there and then that controls the double extending piston. So if we come around here and have a look at it, this is the timing used to control these. We have a repeater with two ticks, a repeater with four, and then a piece of redstone so there's no delay on that. So if we power it like this, you can see it brings back all of the blocks and pistons, and then when we unpower it, it extends all the way back out again. So to build this, you are gonna need these materials. We have 28 building blocks, four sticky pistons, five half slabs, a pressure plate, a hopper, four dispensers, 10 redstone, eight redstone repeaters, five redstone torch, and a redstone comparator. And so you're gonna need an area of land that is three blocks wide and seven blocks deep. And this block right here is where the pressure plate will be. And then that means that your wall is gonna occupy this space here on either side. We're gonna start off by placing down a dropper with a hopper facing into it and a comparator facing out of that and into another block that's gonna have a repeater on the side here set to the fourth setting like this. Then put a block in front of that repeater, put three down like this, all on the default setting, a block here, another repeater on the default setting, and then fill in the space here with blocks. So now we need to place three blocks at the front on top of the dropper like this and you also need to put an item inside of that dropper as well and then another three blocks over here. Put a torch on the corner, two repeaters like this, put this one on the fourth setting and this one on the second and then just put redstone down on top of these blocks. Now we're going to place down a pressure plate at the front here, then three redstone torches and a block alongside it. Then we're going to go back to the front, place down a dispenser alongside that torch and then one on top of the redstone here and then put a sticky piston on the side of this torch and then another sticky piston and then put a block at the front and last of all we want to come around the side here and place down five half slabs like this. Now we're going to place down another two pistons at the front on top of the ones that we placed previously like this and then put three blocks one on top of each torch and then put down a sticky piston on top of the previous one another sticky piston and then a block here at the front and then last of all you need to place down a torch, a repeater on the fourth setting, and then four pieces of redstone. So now your flush wall armor equipper is ready to use, as you can see here. <laughs> so if you want to download this world there is a link in the description box, and if you've enjoyed this video please do give it a thumbs up and help support the channel, but other than that thank you for watching and I will catch you next time. Hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today I have for you a flush wall armor equipper. This is very much like the trapdoor armor equipper except this time it is hidden behind a flat wall. So if we walk up to this pressure plate and hold down forward, we're going to walk into the machine. It's going to equip us with armor and then kick us out again. And because I already had armor on, <laughs> I picked it up in my hand. <laughs> 